Over the years, I've received hundreds of emails from customers asking questions about their diesel engine noises. You know, well, I've got this rattle, or I've got this knock, or I've got this ping sound. And this is so common that I ended up writing a little manual that says, the title of the manual is, Why Does My Diesel Rattle and Knock? There are some noises in these old diesels, particularly the old 617 diesels, that are normal. You get that little injector knock at idle. Um, there's a certain sound. I mean, I laugh when I can hear a 617 tur turbo diesel coming down the street from two blocks away. I can hear that very unique sound. But there are also noises in these engines that's not all that normal. And one of the most common is the noise caused from a broken air cleaner bracket. You'll hear that clank, 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 clank. And you'll particularly hear it when you shut the engine off. You shut the engine off and you hear a clank, clank. And what happens is the air filter housing is mounted on a bracket, which is attached to the intake manifold. And invariably, due to vibration from the engine and the weight of the air filter assembly itself, this particularly breaks right at this point. I see this so many times. You know, I can't count the number of times I've pulled an air cleaner off, and sure enough, the bracket is broken right at this position here. So, you know, it's, it's really frustrating to try to help owners because you, they get a new bracket and, you know, six months later, it's broken again. And we've tried to come up with some things that can minimize this problem. One of the most important ones, by the way, you diesel owners, is if you have an engine that is out of tune, either your injectors are not firing properly or evenly, or if you have a diesel engine with unequal compression, maybe you have a weak cylinder, there's nothing you can do. You're going to end up having to replace broken air filter housing brackets on a regular basis. Now recently, we found a supplier that is building a new bracket that's considerably thicker. We used to send out a washer with instructions on how to weld uh, this area and reinforce it, and you can do that. But this bracket has considerably thicker and heavier steel than the original, as you can see here. And you know, you hear people say, well, I only buy OE. I never buy aftermarket for my Mercedes. Well, let me tell you, sometimes OE is not always the best. And in this particular case, I would say that this aftermarket bracket is better than the original factory bracket. Now, there's some other issues that crop up on these air filter brackets. We have a number of kits available on our website. And now I want to show you what each of these kits can do to help alleviate some of that rattle noise coming from your air cleaner assembly. The bracket has three of these rubber mounts on them, and it may be that when you remove the air cleaner housing, you'll find that one of these uh, studs is broken free of the rubber. This is very common. Your bracket may be fine, but you may need to just replace the rubber. I recommend you replace all of them if one of them is broke. We do sell a kit. It includes three rubbers and lock nuts, as well as a new wing nut, just in case you've lost your old one. Now, why are lock nuts important? Now, if you look over here at this bracket, you can see that, well, uh, I, look, I can screw this into the hole, and I can actually screw it down tight, and some people will do this. But the problem is, due to the vibration, if you're just counting on the threads in the bracket themselves, look what happens. See the enlarged hole here? There's actually two of them here. There's another one right here. The hole is totally enlarged due to vibration because whoever put the mount on did not put a lock nut. You actually want to put a lock nut on the back side and tighten this down first and then put the lock nut on and tighten that. So there's no way that this can start loosening up. If this starts loosening up, then you're going to develop these elongated holes and you'll have to replace the bracket assembly. Although not required, we also sell these heat shields. Now, the heat shields will prolong the life of the rubber mount because you can see it kind of protects the rubber from some of the heat coming up off the exhaust manifold. So the procedure to put these on is you put the mount in like this with the heat shield on the bottom facing up, 
And once that's tight, you'll take a lock nut and put it on the back side and then tighten that down securely. So with three new um, rubber mounts with heat shields with lock nuts on this heavy duty reinforced bracket, hopefully that will solve your air cleaner rattle problems. I realize that this may not be the reason for your particular diesel rattle or knocking sound. There are other things that can crop up to make some really weird noises coming out of these diesels. Some of them can be indicators of potential doom. Others may be just loose parts. Uh, I know one person that had a very bad rattle and he was told that he would need a new engine and it turned out to be very simple. Uh, it wasn't easy to exchange, but it was a very inexpensive part. But he had been told he had a loose connecting rod and it almost sounded like it was a connecting rod. So if you're having problems, be sure to visit my website. We have lots of resources. I have manuals that cover diesel engine knocking and pinging, and there's ways to diagnose this. And of course, we have complete kits, particularly the kits on this air cleaner bracket problem. And when you buy the complete kit, you get free instructions. It'll walk you through step-by-step step how to change that bracket yourself. It's something that you can do. And you'll be very happy when that ridiculous rattle goes away.